To start my vacation, I flew into Cape Town, South Africa. Here is the view from the plane. Cape Town is one of the first port cities on South Africa's southwest coast. Next, we visited the Castle of Good Hope. The castle was built as a bastion fort in the 17th century. After that, we visited Camps Bay. Did you know that Camps Bay is known for having a very white sand? After that, I went to Table Mountain. Table Mountain is a flat top mountain forming a prominent landmark overlooking the city of Cape Town in South Africa. After that, I visited Boulders Beach, which is a sheltered beach made up of inlets between granite boulders from which the name originated. Also, penguins can live on this beach. Next, I visited Kalagdadi National Park. Did you know that you could book a trip and stay on the Trans Frontier Park? At the park, I saw a spring block, which has a top speed of 55 miles per hour running. Also, I saw a meerkat, which has a lifespan of 12 to 14 years. Next, I visited Chobe National Park, located in Botswana for a safari. On the safari, I saw a leopard. A leopard is one of the five species of the genus Panthera. I also saw a cheetah. A cheetah is a large field of subfamily feline that occurs mainly in eastern and southern Africa. I also saw the greater kudu, which is a woodland antelope found throughout eastern and southern Africa. I was also able to see an African wild dog. The African wild dog is also known as the African hunting dog or painted dog. Chobe National Park also had lions. In South Africa, the, the lions are similar in general appearance and size to other lions in other parts of the country, of the world. Finally, we saw hippos. Hippos are the third largest animal after elephants and white rhinos. Next, I visited Victoria Falls. Victoria Falls flows for 1,687 miles from Zambia all the way to Zimbabwe until it reaches the Indian Ocean. There, you could go in Devil's Pool. Devil's Pool allows you to get very close to the edge of the waterfall. Also, you could book a sunset cruise to the Zambezi River Explorer Company at lunch, dinner, or sunset. After visiting falls, I went to Kabale National Park. There we saw a lot of chimpanzees. Chimpanzees can be very nice or very defensive animals. Next we visited Nairobi, the capital of Kenya, and saw a mix of wealth and poverty. Poverty as illustrated in figure 2.8, roughly 8 out of every 10 people in countries are poor. The wealth, though, each of Kenya's 42 million citizens make $2,158 annually. After that, I visited Mogadishu, which is a very unsafe country. There, I saw the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. I also made a stop at the Bakar Market. The Bakar Market is, the, is an open market in Mogadishu that allows, is the biggest in the nation. Finally, I visited Timbuktu. Here I saw the Dijenberg Mosque. Did you know the Dijenberg Mosque was an old learning station? Here's a map of everywhere that I went on my journey to South Africa. This is an overview of South Africa. Thank you.